Let's look at techniques to help introduce students to the topic of improper fractions. We're using free online visual tools from Conceptua Math. In this case, we're using the Identifying Fractions tool. And I'll demonstrate how to use this effectively in a 5 to 15 minute group discussion. Let's see how I've got this set up. I'm starting with 1 fourth rendered as a fraction circle. I'm going to use other models as the lesson goes on. We can begin by having the students discuss as a whole class, in groups or in pairs, what this means, what they're looking at. Talk about the visual model, the numerator and the denominator so they can identify that they're looking at one fourth. And then we can discuss perhaps with a real visual cue, something like quarters, actual physical quarters, coins. We can say it's possible to have more than four quarters. Let's see what that would be like. And we can show coins as we have one quarter and then we add a second quarter whoop, and a third quarter and a fourth quarter and then we can have a fifth quarter. So the message is you can have more than just four quarters. And if you're making an analogy, you could say, well, four quarters would be a dollar. If you have more than four quarters, you have more than one dollar. So here's five quarters and here's six quarters. And this is what an improper fraction is. It's simply when a fraction is represented where the numerator is greater than the, than the denominator. We don't often hear people use the terminology six quarters in conversation, but this is what an improper fraction is. Let's try a different model. If we use this model, the area model, we could say, well, gee, we're looking at an acre. And now a quarter of the acre has been cultivated. And now we can add to the amount of cultivated parts of the acre. Two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, and now we move beyond one acre to five quarters and six quarters. And so you can see again how we can make an analogy and use these visual models and help students to learn the concept. Now I'm going to move over to the other side of the board as we use the number line. I'll get a little darker here, but you'll get a chance to see how this works. In using the number line, I'm going to choose to look at eighths. Because if I were to represent that zero to one were to convey a mile, I think students might hear of an eighth of a mile. It might be another denominator with which they're somewhat acquainted. So here's one eighth of a mile and two eighths and three eighths. And then we move on to a, a, a representation which is more than one mile. Nine eighths, ten eighths, eleven eighths. Again, it's not common in the vernacular, but it is true. It's academically correct. We're looking at an improper fraction. So an improper fraction is when the numerator is greater than the denominator and we can use various visual models all built into the identifying fractions tool to help students understand really what an improper fraction means.